everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. In today's game, passing may come at a cost. The Bears are top 10 in forcing interceptions, and they'll be up against the Raiders, who will be testing that coverage. With that, we'll send it over to Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. They've got the call in this week five matchup. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. This fielded at the two, dances by him, and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. He takes this for three to the 29. So this brings up a second and two. Carr. A right side catch by Crabtree. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Encroachment of the defense. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Again, it's Johnson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. So he runs it for one yard, then no gain. I don't know that you go back to that well here on third down. Yeah, I don't know that you do as well, but if you want to get the ball to him, if you want him to have it, maybe you get him into space and throw it to him. Throwing his car on third down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up fourth down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Three and a half to go, first quarter. Let's go! Blue Blue They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he is knocked down from the side at the 28. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but 
I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Here we go now. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. And they'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. He was looking for John Ross that time. And that'll bring up second down. Stripe, they'll look to throw. It's brought in by Kevin White. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And here comes play number six on this drive. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. You have to imagine for a team that's lost three straight games, scoring first in this first quarter has to feel pretty good. It has to feel great for them, and also it's a nice signal to the rest of the team because we talk about complimentary football all the time. So they've now signaled to the defense, now signaled to the kicking game, hey, we're here to play in this one. We're going to do our part. Let's see if you guys will do the exact same, and we can break this losing streak. This fielded at the two. <laughs> And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs now. That... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he rifles one incomplete. Wayne Goldman is running back, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Out of the gun now on third down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Defense. Let's get into the weeds here a little bit, partner. The Raiders last year, road games only. 
Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. They'll look to throw again. And he whips that one incomplete there. You have to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Second and goal. Defense digging in again here. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. On second down, Johnson. And some space here. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Hard to throw on third and one. They find some open field here. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. Offense. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. On third down, Carr. He'll have a first down past the 40. This one caught left side by Cooper. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. From midfield, here's Carr. Got a man, it's Brashawn Perriman. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get up here for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. offense. Not easy being a rookie left tackle in this league, and there they got it for the penalty. Not easy at all. Think about what you're dealing with every game you play. Ostensibly, the best pass rusher is over you on every snap. I'd be a little jumpy myself. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. They go play action. 
action here on first down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll make this a second and long. On second down, here's Carr. Throw right side to Perriman, and it's caught. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Full start offense. And that'll set them back five. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Shotgun now for Carr. And complete to the tight end Walker right side. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Back now, as I search for my cue card here, there we go. Coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis from our first half of play. Well read. Oh, thank you. Foster offense. So that'll back him up five. So the penalty by the offense, and now they face a first and 15. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. Full start offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment defense. And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball is right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. From the gun, it's Carr. And Walker with it over the middle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be a second down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. It's caught by Crabtree. Car to Crabtree. Good for a Raider first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Malik McDowell able to collapse the pocket and drop it for a loss of a yard. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. Full start offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. Foster offense. So that one will be accepted. Second down. 
Screen play, Johnson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 16. Here's Carr. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. So on fourth down, off goes Carr, and on is Sebastian Janikowski. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And the kick for the 41-year-old is up and good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So they get the field goal, but part of that was a 14-play drive to get the three. Normally, when you hold the ball that long, run that many plays, you end up in the end zone. There's a breakdown on the defense. Something happens. In this case, that didn't. But really good ball control by the offense. They're hoping that they can wear them down if they keep having drives like that. down. He's got a man complete. 20, 10, touchdown Chicago. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bears will add on to their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. And taking a gander at the NFL scoreboard in Minneapolis. Early lead in that one for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers leading the charge offensively. And we focus on Duke Johnson now. Whatever he was doing in September, they're hoping that that carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started at the end of last season, right? All the off-season preparation, the weight workouts, the sprints, right? The vision that he had. There he goes, right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Delaney Walker, his first touchdown on the year. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly for six. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Jakeem Grant now to return. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27 yard. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. He'll drop to throw. Looking deep. And got his man complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Fresh set of downs here. Detroit! Detroit! Here we go now! They'll drop the throw. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that could... Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. 
And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook, but even before that, Let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. The final shot here before half for Carr. Going long for Coates. And that is incomplete. We have hit halftime. Still two more. And before we could even hear from Larry, we're back and ready to go in week five. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll run again with Hunt. Oh, he's got a little daylight. It's a foot race. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Short left, short left. Hurry up, here we go. Check, Patriot, Patriot. Check, Patriot, Patriot. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Khalil Mack able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. down to the 44, five yards that time. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second down following the run. First carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Goldman. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him three on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position 
to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. He's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put in. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. They'll get 19 yards there, and that leads to a Chicago first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. to throw again. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. On first down, Carr. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yeah, they are humans out there. And this is caught. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Now, that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the right, offensive go. line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Eluding the pressure right. And this one's incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. That'll bring up second down. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am. And you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation. Because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there. Could not, but there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away. Offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield, and you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try and run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from there on out. They'll look to throw. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. 
fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Let's field it at the two. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They begin the drive with Johnson. And an alley to run. There goes Duke Johnson. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Duke Johnson, 76 yards. And the Raiders get a score closer. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? It. Big time. Back now here on EA Sports. For the fourth quarter, we'll begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. John Ross and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people not big games as well. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bifema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Over the middle, complete. That's Hamilton. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. He got 29 yards that time. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Now after the INT, it's Carr. And some room to roam now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. 
Working from the gun, it's Carr. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Catch by Crabtree. And he's brought down. Give him 12 yards that time at an Oakland first down. When the hitch route is run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Ten more there and another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And out of bounds right around the 20. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them? Or do you decide to throw the ball here? So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. So the offense has it first and ten. Time for a break. This one all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. On first and ten, here's Carr. This will be caught just inside the ten. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Michael Crabtree, his second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. hands team able to pounce on it and get the football now they're down big here in the fourth they had to try the onside kick can't fault them for the effort at least no you can't at all and if nothing else now you've put something that you're trying to practice right that you you've worked on into a game situation and now you can go back and dissect it so if you need it again sometime maybe you'll find a better way to do it but yeah this game's pretty much done for them and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 to give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. That one looks like he'll throw here. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let him get away. But it does get away at its second down. Hank's almost going to get into QB1 here when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now back to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. On fourth down, Klein. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. 
Well, I see what they were trying to do there. You pop up your holder, roll them out. You got the option to run or pass. This didn't work. Not at all. And the communication was excellent defensively to make sure that receivers were covered as they escaped from the line of scrimmage because that's supposed to be a surprise to everyone, and that's how they get free. People forget their assignments on defense. That didn't happen. And think about the guy rolling out with the football, looking for an open person. No one there. Help us feel it. Help us because that gap between you and defenders now is going to close and close quickly. To throw his car. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And it's third down. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. Carr. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Now, before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Carr, got to have this one. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it looks like the Bears are going to win the football game. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already Let's determined. Go. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. They're giving the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Mike Williams, the intended target, and it's second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete. Yeah. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now here come the Raiders. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Dumping it off for Johnson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Throwing on first down is Carr. He gets it left side to Johnson. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. On second down, here's Carr. And he 
takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Crabtree the target on that one, and now it's third down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Looking for Crabtree, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And this will likely be the last play and wrap things up. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 10. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that...